welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about Manchester Indoor National, uh, as you would have seen by the title. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done a, a race recap, as I used to call them. Um, and yeah, I've got footage from the live stream because I didn't have anyone there filming for me, uh, film my races. But uh, as you'll see by Sunday, went way better than Saturday. I started off Sunday 32 second laps, whereas uh, Saturday I finished on 33, 34 second laps. So yeah, Sunday was great except for when I messed it up in the quarterfinal, which you'll see. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the races. Uh, Saturday up first, obviously. Through inside the top five. Nice big number on the back of the jersey. Always handy for us commentators. One rider already hitting the deck. Got a feeling that was Archie Large. As we move on, Jack Mowat doing it for uh, retro racing, I think that is. Connor Hudson might be out in front. On the 23, Harvey Fryer in there as well. He's there in fourth for Crank BMX. And Braintree's Joshua Cates going through as well. Feels like about eight or nine years since I actually mentioned Morgan's name on a motor. It's nice to see him back. Right, last of the 17 to 29 uh, cruisers. Freddie Cadman Carpenter battling away. Pete Watson in there in two. That'll be Matt McHugh in three. And uh, Jack Mowat going through as well. The team, by the way, he's in there in the top four, though, heading down the final straight. Hudson, Wilson, Manzi, one, two, three. Archie Large under a bit of pressure, but he's going to hang on to that five spot. Check this guy out. Alex Brooks as smooth as you like into turn number two, your national champion. TM of RAB Racing, Rab Racing, heading through the third straight into the final turn. Arne Esselman in there behind him. Moto 1365 in there behind him, in there inside the top three. That is Theo Pope, but it's all about Brooks taking the Moto win in race 188. One, two, three, and four. Quarterfinal number three for the 17 to 29 year olds. Connor, Hul Connor Hudson, Daniel Wilson. One and two looking at uh, Connor Blythe in there in three. Who's got the four? Think it's Joshua Cates. Morgan Whiteley in there in five. Trying to find a way around him. I left himself a bit too much to do unless he turns on the turbo charges down the straight. The retro racing boys are in there as well. But it's going to be Hudson, Wilson, Blythe, Cates. That's going to be a one, two, three, four. Morgan Whiteley, nice to see him back, but he's out in five. Three, Connor Blythe picking it up for TC Cycles as Moto 1365 goes through in the in four. That's going to be Theo Pope, last year's national number three, rounding out your top four spots. Yeah, check him out, Rab Racing, national champ from last year, smooth as you like. Alex Brooks heading into turn number two, Royal Air Force in there behind him, picking it up, that looks like. It is uh, Peter Watson on the sixth plate, but Brooks out front, yesterday's winner by a country mile, sound as you like, down the final straight, he's going to take the moto win. Watson in there behind him, that's going to be Retro Racing in there for four, that's Jack Mowat. Jack Wiggins, Harvey Fry is in four, Callum Daly's just behind him in five. Down to the line, though, it's going to be Brooks taking the win. A late charge from Wiggins didn't quite get close enough. He'll take three. National number five on track. Daniel Wilson charging through this second straight. He's got on S1 in there behind him. Into turn number two. That looks like Braintree picking it up. Inside the top three is the exit turn at number two. Joshua Cakes rounding out the podium spots as it stands. The 25 of Jack Mowat in there in four. In and out of the final turn. Then Wilson, check this guy out. He's flying this weekend. He's going to pick up another Moto win. Matt three spot, Tygo race team, Archie Large just about hanging on. Here comes Zach Green with a high low on the exit of turn number three. Green, Large, down to the line, looking at Large, is just going to hang on to it. But your race winner going to be Connor Blythe. Connor Hudson going one and two with Freddie Cadman Carpenter in race 190, heading into turn number two. That looks like retro racing in the mix. Jack Mowat on the 25 plate, Callum Daly battling it out for that four spot at the moment, and he's hanging on to it in and out of the final turn. Carpenter just relaxing, going to let Hudson down the final straight as quick as you like, bring it across the line. And they're trying to get in there as well. That'll be Tom Whittaker coming down the final straight. Whittaker chasing Fryer isn't going to get him. Daniel Wilson taking the win.
Final quarter final for block number one in and back out of the first turn. It's got to be Freddie Cameron Cobb to go in one or two with Connor Blythe. Heading for turn number two, that is Rocky O'Brien in there in three at the moment. Who's picking up four? Looking like it could be Dylan Seaman on the 257. Yes, it is Seaman at the moment. In there inside the top four, the 293. In there in five, that's Joe Walbridge. Got a bit of work to do to catch Seaman down the final straight. It's going to be Carpenter. O'Brien's going to nick the two spot from Blythe on the line. Seaman's going to take the top four. And we are going to go... As I said, Saturday... Sunday was way better than Saturday. Uh, I just messed up my gait in the final. Basically, at the indoor, uh, I put one my pedal, uh, my front pedal higher because of the gait and how the hill sits and all this and how slow the gait is and all this. But uh, before the quarter final, uh, I was in the pens just checking, make sure my bike was all okay, normal things I normally do. And uh, the right pedal was loose, which was a bit weird. So I had to do a light jog back to the back to my chair where I had the Allen key and light jog back, tighten up the Allen key, uh, tightened up the pedal. And uh, yeah, and then when I got on the gate, I put it one too high, gated, came backwards too much, and as you see, the gate doesn't look that bad if you just look at me, but uh, compared to everyone else, it was bad, and I knew my gate was bad for me. So uh, yeah, and then I did low low on the first corner. What I don't know what I was so like confused by the gate. I was so annoyed by the gate that I went low low on the first corner, and then I couldn't jump. Well, I didn't jump into the second corner, which looking at watching it back, I probably could off with the speed. But it's quite annoying. Um, and then, yeah, I was fighting for fifth after that. So it was really annoying. I had fourth pick going in. Third, fourth, third in the motos. And then fourth pick. It was so annoying. But we've got Cycle Park coming up soon. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll do better than that. I, know, I, know, I think I know that track. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you Bye, next, next time. Bye, dude. Next time we have a kickback. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing. Summertime with a fantastic kickback. I'm going to crack another cold one. Barbecue chicken almost done. Kickback. All the shorties came through and my friends came to survive at the kickback. Yeah, and we live from the kickback. What's up? I'm a little antisocial in these social.